Someone asked me to do the typewriter effect inside of a 3D camera text, and I question myself, how am I gonna do that? I have no clue, I'm not a 3D artist. And then I wonder, why would someone want to do that? And it makes complete sense. Maybe the credits of a movie, maybe you want to reveal some information uh, without breaking the, the fourth wall from the character. So, hey, let's give it a try. Hey, what's up guys? Brian Ryder here. It is awesome to see you guys one more time. Uh, today we're gonna work a little bit on After Effects. I'm not a 3D artist by any means. I'm also not a visual effects artist by any means, but there are some things that we can just figure it out. Someone asked me to do the typewriter effect inside of a 3D tracking camera. I know it sounds a little bit more complex than what it is, but it's the idea of a floating text that kind of type in every single character, uh, kind of to reveal the text. And I thought it was kind of a pretty cool, pretty interesting thing, especially, I don't know, I guess I will use it for credits, I will use it for uh, directed by or to reveal some information that that is hidden from the audience in there, you know, without having to have the character breaking the fourth wall and talking to a camera. That's a kind of a, a cool thought. I have two scenes that I'm gonna share with you. They are pretty simple. The first one, let's jump straight into After Effects. This scene is pretty simple. I'm following a girl down the street. Um, as the camera turns, I'm gonna reveal some text that is just kind of floating in there, kind of revealing some extra information. How do we do that? It is pretty simple. The first thing you have to do is go to your uh, menus, uh, type in, uh, in effects and presets. Let's look for camera tracking. Oh. Camera tracker, I uh, apologize for that. Then we're just gonna drop it into our layer and we're gonna let the camera do its thing. I have to wait, I'm gonna skip through this. And as we're waiting guys, please do not forget to like and subscribe. The only way for this channel to grow and for YouTube to pick up the algorithm is if you guys like it and subscribe. Also feel free to share, create an account for your mom, your dog, your friend, whoever you want. Just, uh, I would like to keep sharing things with you guys and it is awesome if you find your support. Um, hey, thumbs up. Also. Just leave it your comments down there. I would like to hear about you guys. I would like to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, there are there are many more things coming for this channel. I'm trying to uh, plan ahead for the upcoming uh, weeks, actually months, and it will be lovely to just to uh, do this. I really enjoy uh, teaching and I really enjoy uh, shooting. I'm trying to become better at this craft. Here it is, After Effects did its thing, and then we have this little uh, things in here. They look a little bit like candy, like Skittles, I guess. Uh, and then this is the whole scene, and what After Effects has done is it has, it has tracked everything in there. If you uh, move your cursor on top of that, you're gonna realize that uh, the target in there is whatever it is tracking. It's actually picking three different points, and we're gonna create the text based on those uh, three different points. Uh, for now, I'm gonna pick, uh, I think I like this one. Uh, and then we're just gonna right click into that text, create text and camera. That's our text in there. And let's write something uh, cool in here, I don't know. Exit. Exit through the gift shop. And let me pick a font that I like. Krungthep, I guess that's the name. I have no clue where I got it, but I like it. Uh, let's break it, different pieces. And now it's like your arrow. And then you have here different things. You have uh, your different axes in here, the C axis, the Y axis, and the uh, X axis in here. And if you move it, different things are gonna happen in here. Everything is mapped to this corner, so let me go to a place where I think I wanted the text to be uh, referenced from. Let me move the text a little bit. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Easy way to make it smaller, just hold your shift and then make it smaller. In here, let me align it with the door because I find that's a kind of a cool spot for it. And let me move the Y axis a little bit so it kind of looks like the text is in front of me, doo -doo. almost there, almost there. Um, and that should be about right, I guess. 
let me align this a little bit more let me bring it up and make it a little bit smaller and let me change a little bit of the spacing between the lines it's minimal but I guess it makes sense to my eye at least perfect so now if you see if we go back to the scene what's going to happen is we see a beautiful lady walking down the street the camera turns around and all of a sudden pop, the text appears in there pretty neat right but let's try to take a little bit of move a step forward with this text there is something else we can do into here and as you guys realize there are like three layers happening here this is the composition that we had first there's a camera tracker which is referencing all the tracking points or all the skittle looking like the candy looking like things on the screen the little crosses and then the next one is the text and the text is referencing everything off of that camera uh with that being said let me just make everything a little bit smaller because i find it annoying to be that big i don't know that's kind of my designer eye, even though I'm not a designer. Uh, okay, we have that. Now we're gonna jump into the second part of this tutorial, which is the typewriter effect. This is pretty simple. Uh, if you haven't gotten anything yet, don't worry about it. I'm gonna make a second scene about this. We're gonna work in different scenarios so it makes a little bit more sense for you. With that being said, let's go to the text menu, click on the arrow, go to the animate menu, select uh, character offset from the animator number one right here we're going to add a property and the property is going to be opacity we're going to change the opacity to zero everything is going to disappear from the screen we're going to change that opacity or the range selector for that opacity and we're going to create some points i would like the animation to start when the text goes in the corner so i'm going to select a point in my scene in which i want the typewriter effect to start if you will we're going to have the start point right in here then I want it to finish, or I mean to complete the whole phrasing, all the, all the words, typing in all the words. At this point, I'm going to move that selector all the way to 100. And the last thing I have to do is I'm going to go to Advance and change the smoothness to zero. And that's about it. Let's see how it looks. Scene comes in. And... Ta -da! There's a couple more things I would like to do to this. I find it's kind of very plain as we speak. I'm going to move the timing a little bit, just a smidge. Uh, and one other thing I would like to do is once the text is real, I would like it to disappear. So I'm going to make an end point uh, and then I'm going to move it a little bit and then I'm going to bring it to zero. So what's going to happen is the text will disappear. Let me render for you. Text comes in and text disappears. Let me make this a little bit larger just so it makes more sense. And the text goes back. Um, one extra thing, uh, if you hit the U key in this, you're gonna have uh, just the, the keyframes in here, which is pretty handy, little trick out there. Uh, we're gonna select absolutely every single keyframe in there. And there is something that I always try to do and it's try to ease in the animation I find that uh, the change of pace kind of helps. It makes it uh, better for your eye. I'm going to go to animation, the animation menu. Then you're going to get the keyframe assist. And then you're going to hit uh, easy ease, which makes everything variable speed. It starts slow, goes fast, and slow. It kind of makes it a little bit nicer. And the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of motion blur. Just click right here. If you don't have this thing selected, just click it and then we'll just select it for you and select it here. And let's render everything. And that is amazing. That's how you do it. Perfect. So now let's go to our second scene. Here we have this uh, creepy looking alley. Nothing shady is happening back there, of course. Let me uh, render this for you. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects and presets and we're going to type in a camera, camera tracker. Let's put it there. Let's wait for it to analyze. 
If you guys check on top of your camera, it will tell you how much time is left and how many frames do you have. So the program is doing some effort to analyze everything. Okay, perfect. We have all the Skittles again on the screen, which is lovely. And it is perfect. Let's find something that is kind of looking towards the front. That'll be easier to, to handle. I don't know, I like that one. Okay, let's work with that one. So create text and camera. Finally, we got it. Let's click on the text. Otherwise, you're gonna move absolutely everything. And on the text, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Pinch from the corner, hit shift. And then the whole text will be a little bit smaller. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit so I can work with it. Perfect. And continuing with this kind of creepy alley format, what about something like this? Free candy inside. Do not fall for it. Do not fall for it. That's what every movie is saying. Let's go here and let's try to change the perspective a little bit so we can work with it better. And we're going to place it in the place, I guess. He makes sense to us. Let me move it a little bit closer. I don't want it to touch this corner. Let's see how it works or if it works. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's anchored to the back wall, but it's floating in front of uh, the pole, which I find interesting. It kind of adds perspective to it. Okay, let's work with that. Let me move it a little bit to the right. That would be perfect. Render one more time. Imagine there's kind of a wall in between that post and the, the light post the, where the bicycle is and this uh, corner of the stairs or the stairwell. So with that, now let's work on our text. Simple, pretty easy. On the text, go to animate, character offset, and animator one, add property. In this case, it's gonna be opacity again. Super simple, bring it to zero. That's lovely. Then range selector, and we're gonna pick up a starting point and an ending point. I think I would like the starting point to be, let's start at the, you know, when everything is moving a little bit. Right there create a point in there, go a little bit forward, that's like three lines of text, go to 100%, 100. Sometimes you have to type it, if you drag it, I realize that the mouse changes the values in there. And this is what's happening right now. And we forgot to remove the smoothness, so let's change the smoothness to zero, which is lovely. And now we have our typewriter effect. If you want to give credits to a director, if you want to reveal some information, that's a good place to do it. And then here, I'm going to remove the text. So what I'm going to do is going to uh, create a keyframe in there. I'm going to go a couple frames forward, perhaps somewhere like there. Go to zero. Render one more time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is incredible the magic you can do with After Effects and a little bit of patience. And finally, let me add a little bit of uh, motion blur so everything looks a little bit more realistic as the camera is moving. I think everything should have motion blur. It's just kind of the way your eyes see. More natural, I guess. And finally, remember to Get the U key. If you have a PC or if you have one of those Macs that still have the F keys, I have one of the new ones and it just doesn't come with it. It comes with the bar that I, it's a pain in the butt to use. Different story, we'll talk about that later. Um, just go to animation, uh, keyframe assistant. If you have the F keys, just hit F9 and it will just easy ease absolutely everything. If not, um, just go to animation and select easy ease. And it looks lovely, simple as that. Then you can keep changing things. You can add more effects. You can add a million other things. So if you want to do something else with the text, let me go a little bit back. Uh, let's find, I don't know. Uh, I was fooling around earlier with it and then I found this devil dust effect. I'm just gonna drop it on top. And this is kind of weird, this effect. 
hold on for it to render and because this messes up your text which is kind of cool let's see if he does it and that's what he does lovely isn't it that's it and you can do the exact same thing press u you have all your keyframes in there go to animation go to uh, keyframe assistant easy is i'm gonna make it happen a little bit faster and i go to the beginning and that's it that's all you have to do you can add all tv credits you can make it look you know disappear whatever you want to do i find this pretty cool especially if you uh if you like to play with after effects like myself um and that's about it guys uh if you like this content uh let me know in the comments uh also have a great week everyone love you bye Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.